Okay, today we are going to go over our roof mount wind turbine tower. What the kit comes with is a four foot square tubing comes with two end caps a center mass that your tower uh, your turbine actually mounts to four feet mounts to the end cap here and to the roof here and then the appropriate hardware. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take the center mass and then we want to put screws in the threads bolts. And you want to screw them in deep enough that it hits the surface of the metal here, but isn't out far enough it's going to scratch up the square tubing as we slide it through. Then you take the center mass Slide it over like so. Then I use the same method on the end caps. Screw the bolt in to the threads. making sure not to go far enough that it's actually going to damage the finish when you slide it on. Okay. And then you take the feet. I will set it up here for ease of viewability. We get a bolt, slide it through the hole in the end cap, and then of course slide that bolt through the hole in the foot, running the bolt to the inside. So while you're on the roof you don't have any issues with tripping we're getting snagged on the bolt. And before I mount it to the roof, I just snug these up to keep everything from flopping around. Of course, you would put the other two on the back side. Then you, of course, have the spots on your roof marked. I generally use white tape so it's easy to find. Drill with the appropriate size drill bit. This is a 3 8 lag. I generally go under just a little bit um, to make sure that there's plenty of thread. So I recommend approximately about a quarter inch pilot hole. I then take waterproof caulking. Um, some silicone, something that you could use on gutters. Um, depending on the color of your roof, you may want to do clear and you may, or you may want to do white. I generally use clear just for uh, simplicity that um, I like to use a lot of caulking to make sure we don't have any leaks. I generally, well after I've got that hole drilled, I'll clean it out well. And then I will put caulking in that hole before I slide the lags in. Then you just take the lag, And you slide it into the hole and then again I would again put some caulking in and then I would snug them in place all the way around, mount this to the roof and then come back and make sure you adjust the uh, set bolts.
to keep this from moving or vibrating. I also recommend, especially if you're in a really windy area, I will generally put a little bit of caulking on the ends. I just take my finger and just take a little bit of caulking on there. It keeps it from backing out or loosening if you have a lot of wind in your area causing um, vibration. So, after you get that snugged in, of course, you've got wire already coming out of the top of your mass. Um, I generally recommend drilling a hole, depending on the size of wire that you need, um, get a grommet that will house that, drill the appropriate size hole. I recommend coming off about an inch and a half from the base where the round pipe meets the mounting pipe on the center mass. Run up about a foot, foot and a half of wire out the top. Go ahead and fill this in with caulking when you're done. Make sure it's watertight and especially get around the uh, grommet. Mount your turbine to the very top of the mass and then take the extra wire and slide it inside. It's important to leave extra wire because if you have to do any maintenance on your turbine, if you need to take it down because of high winds, if you need to move the location of the turbine to another house, if you want to take it down for any particular reason, if you don't have any extra wire, you're not going to be able to pull that turbine up without potentially doing some damage. So I highly recommend you leave about a foot of wire. It gives it enough room to pull it up and to disconnect it and then do maintenance. Make sure that you keep uh, uh, that wire taped or something to keep it from falling inside the pipe uh, as you're working on it. And if you're doing maintenance, it's easy to just to bring a rubber band, wrap it around your hand, and then slide it around the, the pipe with the wire hanging down uh, on the side of it to keep it from